Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk through how you can set up what is called Facebook Business Manager. Now, Facebook Business Manager is important for you to set up to be able to run ads if you're going to be running ads on behalf of someone else. So once you go through the training, you should be able to ma uh, master the ads for your own business, but you might want to start running ads for uh, one of your friends or colleagues, or you know what, after you master your niche, uh, you could start running ads for other businesses in your particular niche across the country where those folks aren't necessarily competing with you uh, if your clients are all in your immediate geographic area. So you'll want to set up Business Manager for this just because you'll need to be able to access other people's ad accounts. And the way to do that is through Business Manager. Now, if you already have a business page set up, when you go to business.facebook.com, uh, you're probably going to see that it looks something like this right here. I'm going to kind of block out some of the page so that you can't see who this page belongs to. Uh, this is my wife's business here. But when you go to business.facebook.com, that is the URL for getting, access, or getting into Business Manager. Now, if you don't have a business page set up, it's going to ask you to create an account. And it's pretty easy to, to do that. Now, it might already create an account for you, though, now that you have a business page set up. Uh, years ago, even if you had a business page set up, you still had to create the account. But I think maybe now, I don't know for sure because I haven't created Business Manager in a while, but I think now it's automatically created whenever you have a business page set up. So anyways, we're going to walk through that process now. And again, I just want to reiterate that Business Manager itself, it's going to have a, a separate link and essentially a separate account. You're going to use your personal account to log in, but you could have a, a different uh, uh, password for it, perhaps. Um, for Business Manager, again, it's business.facebook.com. I'm just going to cl close this tab real quick here. Okay, so in business.facebook.com here, you're going to see a, a button up here that says create an account if you don't already have one. You're going to go ahead and click through create an account, and then you're going to give your business and account a name. So in this case, uh, like if you're going to be running your own business and running your own ads, you might want to just call it that. So like if you're uh, you know, like Framingham window cleaning or services or something like that, you could just call it that. Um, but if you have plans of running ads for someone in the future, you might want to come up with a different business name. And that would be kind of like your own marketing uh, business name. So in this case, let's just go ahead and put in Framingham window cleaning. And then you just put in uh, your name and then your business email. Uh, we'll just put in, and again, this does not have to be the same email um, that you're using for your uh, personal Facebook profiles login. So let's go ahead and put this in here. Submit. Okay, so that was uh, submitted through. We've got a confirmation email address that we've got to go through and verify. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so in this case, uh, Facebook's email was uh, filtered by my email in the, the social tab. So if you're using Gmail, you'll need to look for that as well. It might not go in an inbox. Gmail's smart enough to see it looks like it's coming from a social media network. So you might have to go there and find it. And then also, this is an important note to keep in mind later on. Whenever you're requesting access uh, from someone else's business account to try to get access to their ad account to run ads for them, uh, any of those notifications might be filtered by Google into a social folder. Uh, so you just have to hunt for that. Okay, let's go ahead and click on Confirm Now. This is going to redirect us back to Business Manager. Okay, so here is Facebook Business Manager. I'm going to go ahead and close Gmail now. We don't need that. I'll go ahead and close this tab over here too. Okay, so here's Business Manager. This is what it's going to look like. Um, up at the top up here, you're going to have these uh, these little dots up here. This is business tools. If you click through that, that's going to expand out. Uh, it should give you more options in here. This is going to take you to Ads Manager. 
We talked about Ads Manager briefly in a different video and we were talking about uh, Facebook Ads Center when you're looking at a uh, Facebook business page. Uh, like if you are back in regular facebook.com and, and taking a look at the, the business page there. Let's just do that real quick. Okay, so under Ad Center, this is where we were talking about before. Uh, this is where you were setting up a, an ad, perhaps directly from the business page. This is a little different than what we were we, we were just looking at over here for Ads Manager. Ads Manager is where you're going to be setting up uh, ads for your business or for other businesses uh, within Business Manager. Business Settings. This is where we're at right now. You can see it's highlighted, so we can edit a lot of different functionality in here. I'm not going to go over everything in this particular video. Uh, and then there's Events Manager. Events Manager is going to be where you're going to set up your Facebook business uh, accounts pixel. Now in separate videos, we'll show you how to set up the pixel and how to add it to your websites. And essentially what a pixel is going to do is it's going to uh, fire off data that goes back to Facebook whenever someone lands on your page and they take a particular action. Maybe they've submitted a form, maybe they've pushed a, uh, submitted a button or, or something like that. Um, but anyways, that data is going to help Facebook track those folks uh, in terms of being able to retarget those folks and a whole slew of other activities. So we'll dive into how Facebook Pixel works in other videos. Uh, I'm not really going to dive into e-commerce e manager. Uh, that would be more or less if you're a, a, an e-commerce uh, business. Uh, ads reporting, this is where you're going to go in and see how your ads are uh, performing. Um, that will become uh, beneficial for you if you are running ads for someone else later in the future. That way you can go in there and see how the ads are reporting and, and performing and uh, generate some sort of a report on your own for your clients to be able to see. And then Catalog Manager, this is where you can upload assets into Facebook, whether that's videos, pictures, and so forth, uh, that you can use for your ad campaigns. Okay guys, I don't really wanna dive into all the details of Facebook Business Manager in this video. Stay tuned for the next video and I'm gonna start walking through what you see down the line here in business settings.